Good to have you, uh, David, uh, join us. Um, first, just give me a rundown on the world right now. I mean, things are changing so rapidly. I know on the conference call you talked about orders in Europe having gained traction, but you have to see what happens with the new wave. It's a new wave, of course, but are you concerned? Yeah, you know, I think that uh, we are keeping a close eye on Europe. I think the most encouraging thing that we saw was, frankly, in the United States in our residential business, where our HVAC business, which goes back 100 years, had the highest quarter that we've ever had in our history. Uh, our residential business was up 46 percent, 2x the, uh, the market. So very encouraging signs there. China has been particularly strong, uh, up 10 percent, continues to show strength across our portfolio in China, which has been extremely encouraging. And Europe is kind of returning to flat. Now, that was before a lot of the shutdowns. We've shown that we can manage our way through curfews. Uh, the supply chain has remained very resilient. On the demand side, we'll have to keep a close eye as some of these shutdowns kick back in. But Europe has, has been showing a good trend, uh, even in orders uh, in October, up until these most recent shutdowns. In your, the slides that accompanied your earnings uh, report this morning in your call, you talk about uh, a number of different things that are so-called the carrier way, including tenacious cost reduction. Uh, it's yeah. kind of scary, Dave. I mean, what, what, what does that mean, tenacious cost reduction? It, it means exactly that. It means a certain relentless focus on taking costs out on a continuous improvement basis that, you know, when we had started uh, a few months back at the beginning of this year, we said we would take 600 million of costs out over three years. Now, more than half of that comes from the supply chain. We just increased that from what we call carrier 600 to now carrier 700. And that 100 million was all on the supply chain. 85% of our cost of goods sold is by and what we mean by tenacious is just being incredibly disciplined about everything we do, whether it's really looking at our GNA, it's looking at our relationships with our 6,000 suppliers, which should be about half of that. And it looks at continuous improvement in our factories. So it's a relentless consistency of purpose because our customers demand from us that we're taking costs out of the product and, and our investors expect that we're dropping through some in an ROS expansion, which we've said we would improve 50 bips a year. So we will be tenacious and relentless on the cost side. Yeah, and you say you're focused on that in part for your shareholders and what they expect. You know, four years ago, uh, David, there was obviously a focus on carrier from a political perspective, given the Indiana plant and the jobs that conceivably were going to be lost. Um, manufacturing is a huge issue. Uh, the numbers are actually down again. I mean, this trend is only going to continue as you continue to focus on costs and other competitors do as well. Are you going to continue to pair your workforce on that factory floor? Yeah, you know, interestingly, because we've been so focused on growth, we've actually been able to add uh, factory workers. You know, you look at uh, Indiana, today we're at 1,600 uh, uh, employees strong, and part of the reason is that we've been able to grow. That's the factory where we make our furnaces for the North American residential business, and because we've been able to grow, we've picked up some share, we've actually been adding employees, uh, same in our Collierville, Tennessee facility, same in Charlotte. So, you know, whether it's in the United States or Mexico or globally, our focus is in on growth so we can put help wanted signs outside many of our factories around the world and continue to be there for our customers, which then has a full cycle of feeding further growth. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.